Hey guys, welcome to Hasty Vegan. I'm Shayla and thank you so much for tuning in today. Today is a little bit of a spinoff of last week. So last week was Thanksgiving with Hasty Vegan. I posted five total recipes to help you guys navigate this holiday. We got some sides, a little entree, and we even got a dessert. So go check that out on my page. Today though, what do we do with the leftovers? Okay, you're like, Shayla, Thanksgiving hasn't even happened yet. What are you doing? Well, since I did end up cooking Thanksgiving two weeks early, I'm stuck with leftovers today. So today we're gonna be making two different recipes. One is gonna be a gumbo, and two, we're gonna be making little wraps that I'm going to pan fry. So I don't have a name for those, but um, super simple, super quick, and I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. We're gonna be using the mushroom seitan roast from last week's videos. You can go check that out on my page. But that's already prepared, that's already ready for us to use in today's videos. Again, this is leftovers. This is what you have on hand. And so let's just go ahead and get started. I can show you guys what I'm gonna be doing with my leftovers. All right, so we're gonna start with our gumbo. I wanna quickly go through the ingredients before we put everything in the pot. So I already took our seitan roast and I cut it up. Also, what I'm doing today is I'm just taking leftovers. So I had some leftover Brussels sprouts, which I've chopped up and we've got those here. Um, I had some leftover celery, so I'm, I went ahead and put that in here. I had some leftover onions that I wanna get rid of before they go bad. So all of that would pair perfectly with a gumbo. Um, today I'm actually using what is it's canned gumbo base. Um, I like this a lot because it's really, really quick. So I actually keep a few, of this, specifically this brand. So that's Blue Runner. <laughs> I feel like I'm a superpower here. Blue Runner. Um, this is the Creole one. They do have a seafood base. And I get it at Walmart. I know if you're in other parts, if there's a Publix, I do know that they sell it at Publix. Um, if you're in Louisiana, um, I know specifically in Lafayette, it's a drink emporium. So they do have them in places. Look up Blue Runner Gumbo in a Can. They do have other stocks, so I'm gonna show you guys what I found at Walmart, just over here to the right. And um, there are more. Uh, I, this is just what I could find in my area, in my region. Or if you guys just wanna make gumbo, I mean, it takes a little bit longer than what it's gonna take us today, but making gumbo actually doesn't take that long when you don't have uh, meat to cook. All right. Um, oh, also, uh, I'm trying this out. So this is a boil-in bag way to cook rice. So again, I just wanted to be super quick. I picked this up and I kinda wanna do a test to see how long this is gonna take. So this takes 10 minutes. If I put this in the microwave for 10 minutes, am I gonna be able to cook this in the same amount of time? We're gonna find out. done and it won the race but that's not too bad though because by the time we took the rice out the gumbo was ready to start simmering for about five minutes so not much longer I would say this is about still total of a 15 minute meal total all right so we're gonna take the rice out I've got my fork you want to be very careful because I was as you can see it is still steaming and you don't want to get burned so we're just gonna cut the bag open and put it in a different bowl and just fluff it up. And so it should be good. We'll taste it and see. And then you can also add butter or salt or any type of seasonings that we want to add. This is brown rice. So it probably could have gone in for maybe another minute. Um, so just a heads up, if you guys are using this, it does take a little longer than the 10 minutes. All right, ready for the big reveal? Yeah, there we go. That looks nice. That looks nice. 
give it a quick stir. So we've got Brussels sprouts are looking pretty good. Got our little, now our roast is now our vegan sausage here. The onions look good. Got a little bit of that celery going around. I did think about it later, but you could have added corn. So I have some of that in the freezer. I might add that later. All right, so it's time to taste the gumbo. I did let it sit for a little while longer, and that way our Brussels sprouts, our sausage, and our celery, etc., can really absorb the spices. So let's see how that turned out. Mmm. That's good. I did also add some garlic powder and some salt. It does have a little bit of a kick. So I would, if, if you do not like spices, I would cut down on a little bit of the Tony Saturys. I didn't add anything else that would give that kick, but uh, Tony Saturys does have a good amount of chili powder in it. All right, let's taste a little piece of our sausage here. Mm-hmm. Even that tastes better. Because again, it's been soaking up all of the juice. And so I would really, really recommend you guys make this. Even try out the Brussels sprouts. Let me know in the comments below if you tried out a gumbo with your leftovers, what you guys put in, what was in your kitchen sink. <laughs> Everything in it but the kitchen sink. Uh, so let me, let me know. All right, let me know. let's start with recipe number two. Pretty simple. It is literally a wrap. Pretty easy to assemble pretty quick to cook and um, I think you guys are really going to enjoy this one especially when we get to the taste test. Alright so I went ahead and prepared our pan. I just sprayed some nonstick spray in it again an olive oil based one. It's really going to add to the crispiness of our tortilla as it's cooking as well as it not sticking. So I have the pan on medium and while that's heating up let's go ahead and assemble. I'm going to start with our, actually I'm going to start with our cheese. So I have Vile Life uh, provolone cheese, actually. So I'm, since our tortilla is long, I'm gonna go ahead and make three little rectangles <laughs> uh, here of our cheese. I'm gonna put that down, and then I'm gonna put a layer of our little thinly sliced roast. So then I'm gonna add another layer of cheese. I wasn't kidding in one of my other videos where I said that I really like cheese. All right, so that's pretty high, right? So may even cut a layer out. Let's put that to the side. And then we're going to add spinach. I really like the taste of the slightly cooked spinach. And then we're gonna wrap. I tend to like to fold the bottom of a tortilla and that is simply because it makes sure everything doesn't fall out. So, and then we just roll it over, just keeping that bottom tucked. Tuck that in a little bit more. All right, I do the same thing when I make tacos. I just tuck one of them in. And I am using a flour tortilla today, but I'm gonna show you guys some images on the screen of other kinds that you can get. All right, so we're gonna put this in the pan. Uh, as you can see, it's starting to get a little darker in here. We're going to put it in the pan, sill side down, so this actually creates a sill. And we're going to wait. Alright, it's time to taste test our wrap. I'm really excited to share this one with you guys because I did make this ahead of time yesterday and really enjoyed it. So I did make a Southwest um, aioli sauce, if you will. It's a little bit of vegan mayonnaise some chili powder, some lime juice, and a little bit of salt is usually what I do. This time I also added some chili paste, excuse me, some chili sauce. You can get that at the store. Um, it did make it a little bit more runny this time. However, it still tastes really good. So let's get our taste on. Look at that, it's already crunchy. All right, it is a little warm, so be careful guys. So I'm gonna take it without, and then I'm gonna taste it with. I love it when you can hear the crunch. Mm. You know it's good if you can hear crunch. All right, ready? This reminds me of Philly cheesesteak. 
I was so surprised, like happily surprised, to know that I basically on accident made a vegan Philly cheesesteak. The provolone cheese, uh, the Violac provolone cheese, mixed with the mushroom seitan uh, roast and the, the spinach, there you go. So good, such a good bite. And then honestly, this is what I used to get at Subway. I used to go and get the Philly cheesesteak. I would put spinach on top and I'd get the Southwest sauce. So this is literally an accidental remake of that. I'm super excited to share this with you guys. So let me know if you guys try this out with the mushroom seitan roast and if you try any other kind of Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, our gumbo and our wrap. If so, please let me know in the comments below. Also, hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell and you'll get notified of more videos just like this. Until next time.